JC and welcome to another video on my let's play. Oh my goodness guys. What am I gonna do? I know you can't see uh, the tub back. I know you can't see the bar. But uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do because uh, I know you're not gonna see the bar very much. You know like when you have like nine spaces where you can just hold stuff. I, I can't hold that now because the graphics are so bad right. Like I hope it, I hope those graphics aren't very weird because uh, well as long as you can see me and, and some of that. So yeah, today guys I've got something to show you and I've, I've been working on it for about a couple of days now and I've, and I've, and I've built it all by myself so don't worry. And it's basically a hide and seek map and I have based it off the human body and would you look at this look at the size of it doesn't it look great for above yeah let me um let me show you um what it says on here so this is basically the human body hand seek so if you can't see it Builders Correct Musician, YouTube Minecraft fan, how to play. The aim of the game is to try and catch all the hiders as one person is a seeker and if you get caught, you become a seeker too and will need to help the main seeker find everyone else. The last person to be caught is the winner. Before starting the game, you will need to go through the randomizer and you will either get a hider or a seeker. Blue is hider, red is seeker. You also have sticks in the game to show whether you're a hider or a seeker. Stick is hider, blaze rod is seeker. You also need to wear a chest plate so people will know you're a seeker. Have fun playing for yourself and don't worry if you lose it's a game. So, And then after you read that, you take one each and then... And now even if you're a hider or a seeker or whatever you are, just take one each. Don't take all of them, just take one stick one blaze rod and one down chest for every round and then once you've done that you go through the randomizer and um, and you will either get a blue or a red if you uh, if you get blue then uh, you're a hider so you don't have to put a chest plate on but if you're a seeker then you've got to put a chest plate on and then the seeker will go through this time once the game starts well it kind of starts when uh, when the seeker comes out but I'm not going to go through this all because uh, it's a bit, it's pretty long and um, so we're going to skip that and um, over here we have got uh, some hidey holes which you can hide in now uh, don't worry about these holes, these are just hidey holes now, no, now I'm not going to look at them all because they're all exactly the same now um, I know like uh, what am I going to say now? I know like the, it's not a really good hiding spot but uh, it's you to hide them but, it, it, but you can hide wherever you want guys. You can hide, you can hide in these, you can hide over there, you can hide up there, whatever your stuff. And then up, up, over here we have water and we have this red thing. Well we have this tongue. Yeah, this is a tongue, and then below it is water. Now you can actually go down here actually when you're playing hide and seek, but you need to start the this 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 end of water though. If you if you don't, then you're gonna drown. So you need to stay out of here if you can. You can slightly see the hidey holes down here, and um, you can slightly see the cookie. This might be a really good hiding spot for you, but it, but you never know, you might get caught. Because everyone has to get caught in a game, don't they? The, um, a round doesn't end until everybody gets caught, so, yeah. And what we have over here is, from, is some fish fingers. This is the smallest, this one is the biggest, this one's the medium. And now you can hide up here. Well, I know the secret's gonna 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 get you from from up there, but you can easily just go up there. And you can go from one place to another, basically, and you can just run away from the seeker if you can. As soon as the seeker goes, like you can just run away and then 
it may distract the seeker so up here might not be the best place for you if you go up here it might be quite good but not as good as uh, as this one because you can just easily go up here you can just jump up onto here if you want I know I made that and then when you go up here you're on the you 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 can see a bit of the map basically now if the seeker does come up again yeah, you can just run off like this ah and basically what we have here is a milkshake I have a bit of a milkshake here and um, this is basically the cup that you use and this is like the lid basically made out of glass now you can actually go inside the milkshake and you can basically just step inside the strawberry and you can hide here basically and um, up here you can even go on top of the straw if I can do it but well, it's so difficult oh. yeah if the seeker gets you here the seeker, there's, there's, there's a chance that the seeker can get you you can go up here to go up as well now if the seeker does get find you then you can just run off like that run somewhere else run from a place to another so then the seeker uh, will, will take more time to catch you over here we have some chips and um and then there's a bit of parkour you've got to do we'll skip the parkour and then and then once you get to this chip you can just uh you can jump onto the sausage roll oops sorry and then you just jump on it like that if you if you fail it then you've got to go around again and then if you if you keep on failing it then the seeker's going to find end up finding you at some point and then you can go up here and you can uh and then you can jump up to here you can't escape the map though the reason i put fences up here is then so then you can't escape out the map so this is a bit of like barriers basically like you can just uh Run, you can just jump up, jump around on the teeth so then you can view the whole map we well, can see most of it and then uh yeah now here we have the, so the sausage roll itself we've got a bit of tomato ketchup here a bit squirted all over the, 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 the sausage roll it's been half eaten basically and now you can hide in here I don't think this will be the best spot for you but you, you, however, however, you can hide in here. So, when we when we are open for now, then once you go down here, there's a secret passageway. And then up here, you can hide in the cookie. And um, and and if the seeker goes to the cookie, then the, he they will not know that you're there. And uh, but once they go into the sausage roll and find out that secret room then you're doomed so yeah like before I play this map basically I just want to uh, show this show you this map to you guys that I made all by myself and um, if you want to play with me then my gamer tag is correct musician it's on Xbox one by the way if any of you want to play this map just comment down below uh human body just comment comment human body and then i'll invite you to that game so is that everything wait i think i've shown you everything guys yeah i think i have so yeah guys this is basically the human body hand seek map that i built on my own do you think it looks good guys what do you think do you think it looks good yeah i think so so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you all guys later. Goodbye! My opinion is that it looks good.